Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Denise Michelle back with another video. So today I have a word for y'all. Like this word is good. Let me pause this music, y'all. You know, this is raw and uncut. Not editing nothing. I'm gonna give it to y'all straightforward. I hope I'm loud enough. Hopefully y'all can hear me. But yeah, so um let me just pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. I just want to invite you in to this conversation today, Lord. I know when two or more gather together that you are sure to be in the midst. So I just thank you, God, for giving me a platform. Thank you for just allowing um, to just, just for you to be great in the name of Jesus, Lord. We exalt your name up high. Let it be all of you and none of me, God. I pray that you got this word, and I pray that it ministers evil stop this video in the name of jesus that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow for things in heaven in earth and under the earth no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of jesus lord so i just give you praise i give you honor and we just say thank you amen so today i had a good day today i was with my people and god was speaking to me today too as well and basically, you got to watch who you, not who you associate with, but what you listen to. And what you associate with as well, but who you be around and what you um, listen to and see. And in church um, today, it was walking with God in the spirit. And, but that's not going to be entitled, but I want to let y'all know what my word was for today, which is walking with God in the spirit. And basically, when God says something, it's power. Your future depends on God. God wants to talk to you no matter what. Period. Like, just think about Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve hid themselves from God when they sinned it. But God wanted to talk to us that's just like me and you we get discouraged we fall off we don't want to talk to god or we get mad but god don't care about our fights he's don't i don't care about our attitudes or anything like that he still want to talk to us he still want us to come talk to him and just pour out to him because we his creation we are made in his image but anywho i'm in my book of king james version my holy bible and we're going to be in the book of Proverbs, Daniel, and Philippians. So right now we're going to start in Proverbs. So Proverbs was written by Solomon, the son of David. And this is before Jesus, but y'all stay with me. So... Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And as I was reading I really felt bad for people who are not saved, for people who just know God but choose not to believe in him or know not to do certain things but still do it anyway. And this verse stood out the most to me because it follows what I'm finna go over. It says, how long, ye simple ones, talking about people who not in Christ, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, slim, simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge? How long? God is basically saying, y'all, make sure y'all read this because this is too good. But going down to verse number 29, it says, For they that hate knowledge and did not choose to fear God, they would none of my counsel. They of none of my counsel. They despise of reproof. And it's like, God is so good. And you know how big God is. So if we know how big God is in 
in love and in help and in everything good. I wouldn't want to see God mad. I wouldn't want to displease God in the name of Jesus. I wouldn't want to be in his wrath. Amen. So going down to verse 33, it says, But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, but shall be quiet from fear of evil. So we being Christ-like, we are not fearful, basically. Like, we're not supposed to be fearful. In the name of Jesus. So, moving on. To Daniel. Ooh. And this is good. Because this is where the Daniel fast come into play. In Daniel 10, chapter 10. And, okay. This is so good, y'all. Y'all got y'all really gotta catch this message in the spirit. Catch this message in the spirit. Okay, so boom. We all know that Daniel name is Daniel, but his name at first was Beth Lazar. Beth Beth the Star. Beth Lazar. Something like that. Ooh, my Bible ripping, y'all. But okay, so. It says, but thy time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and he under and he had understanding of the vision. In those days, I Daniel was mourning three full weeks. That's when he didn't eat no bread, no wine. He was just basically denying his flesh for God. So, in his vision, he was at a riverside. And it was a figure coming down. And this is Jesus. Before Jesus was even born, because Jesus come in, in Mark, we and Daniel. So that's about eight good books before we get to Mark. But anyway, it says, His loins was girdled up with fine gold of uphast. In, ver in, in verse number six. His body was like barely, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to be polished brass, to polish brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision, for the men that were with me saw not the vision but a great quakening fell upon them, so they fled and hide themselves. So they were scared of what was going on because they didn't know what was going on. And Daniel was scared as well, and he didn't even want to face it. He basically um, was in fear. He was trembling. But because it was his vision and he saw, he was still present. So the Lord, so the figure appeared to him, Jesus appeared to him, saying, Fear not, Daniel, verse number 12. Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and have chastened thyself before God, thy words were heard, and I come for thy words. Now, Daniel is a righteous man, and he feared himself for the Lord. He obtained knowledge from Proverbs. Remember now, in Proverbs... It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. He was fearful of the Lord. So moving down, it says, now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the later days. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He is saying Jesus is coming. For now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days to come. In verse number 14. So boom. Going down. This is the good part, y'all. So, oh my Lord, by the vision my scorners are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk? with this my lord as for me straightway they remained in no strength in me 
neither is there bread, breath left in me. Then there came again and touched me, and touched me, one like the appearance of man, and he strengthened. Jesus, y'all curse this message, y'all just so good. And said, Man, mind y'all, then he was scared. But he told him to stand up. He told him to stand up. Because he was in a position like a dog. Y'all got to read the whole chapter 10. He was in a position where the dog, his knees and his palms was on the hand. It was on the ground. And um, verse 19 says, And he said unto me, when the appearance of man, he strengthened me. The appearance of a man, y'all. And said, O oh man, greatly beloved. He's saying this to Daniel, O oh man, greatly beloved. Fear not. Peace unto you. Be strong. Yeah, be strong. And when he had spake these words unto me, I was strengthened immediately. And said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. And then he said, Knowing thou wherefore I come unto thee, and now I will return to fight with the prince of Persia. Now I will return to fight with the prince of Persia. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of the truth. And there is none that hold with me in these things but Michael your prince. That's so good. And it just, I love how it ties in together because. In Proverbs, it was speaking about wisdom, knowledge, but you got to be fearful of God. But if you are not, his wrath will come upon you. Daniel was an example of that. And the Lord appeared to him in a vision before Jesus was even here. He told him he was yet to come. Where have y'all heard that before? Anyway. On the Proverbs, my last point. I just ripped my Bible. Um, not Proverbs, y'all. Philippians. Philippians. Three. Finally, my brethren. Rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you, to me. Indeed, it's not grievous, but for you, it is safe. This is after Jesus came. Jesus went through his ministry. He was hung on a cross for our sins. He ascended to heaven. Now he rose again. He ascended to heaven and came back as the Holy Spirit. And it says, beware of dogs, y'all. That's Daniel was sitting in a dark position, but Jesus told him to stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Beware of evil works. Beware of conscience. And like I was saying in the beginning, you got to be mindful of what you listen to, what you hear, and what you see, and who you hang around. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit. Rejoice in Jesus Christ and have no confidence in the flesh. Though it might also have confidence, though I might also have confidence in flesh. So it's nothing wrong with having confidence in the flesh, but be led by the Spirit. But what things were gained to me, those I counted for Christ. And it says, yet doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellence of knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and don't count them but dung that I may win Christ. That I may know him and the power of the resurrection and the fellowship of suffering being made comfortable unto death. And this is Philippians first chapter three. In chapter 3, and it says, 
forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. God shall reveal even this unto you. For many walk of whom I have told you offer. Now tell you, even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross, who in its destruction, whose God is in their belly, who has glory in the, their shame, and whose mind earthly things, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. When I was just reading that, y'all, before I got on here and made a video to just tell y'all what I've just been dealing with and what was in that God placed in my spirit, that God is just so good, and Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, so that we may be whole, and. I remember just being in a time where I was just didn't want to give up certain things. Like I did not want to give up certain things. But with God help, I was able to do that. And I also wrote that down. It says Only God can change. Only God can change you. Only God, God is the only one who can heal you. There's nothing God can't change. So, I don't know what the title of this word is going to be, but I hope it bless y'all the way it bless me. I really challenge everybody to go on a fast, um, any type of fast, to get away from social media to read the bible to read those specific chapters so you could get an understanding and revelation how i did and yeah y'all hope y'all bear with me and understand that um you know some words are harder to pronounce but that's okay in the name of jesus because we are we in this together so yeah, y'all, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below if y'all want some advice or anything that you want me to touch topics on, and y'all, around here, we not doing no smoking, no drinking, no sex, no fornicating, no lying, no cussing, we ain't doing none of that, we walking in the spirit, and we doing this with the help of God, with the voice of God, because we are winners, we are more than conquerors, and we are his children, we are his beloved children. He loves us more than anybody on this on this earth. If you love something, think about how much you love it, and understand that God loves you ten times as much. Many are called, but a few are chosen. If you are being chosen, don't deny it. Don't hide from it. Don't hide from it because God's love is great, but His wrath is great too. No, God's wrath is great, but His love is greater. Okay. We shall be filled and be whole. And that's it. Bye.